So the first thing is, and I'll just check and make sure I'm following my notes correctly. Put the social networking manager, yeah. So this social networking manager, if I just go into the project view, social networking manager, this was imported in the social networking package from Prime31. In the first scene, I put this social networking manager inside and that will last throughout the entire game. That has to be in each scene in the game. So this is our logo scene that you can see right here. It's the first scene that's loaded and I'm putting the social networking manager in there. And then that's it. That's all you have to do for that social networking manager part. So the next thing that I've done in this situation is you could do this a little bit of a different way, but I actually create a Facebook persistent object. Now this is just the game object and I've added a script in there, but the script doesn't get destroyed from scene to scene. It's persistent. It doesn't get destroyed when the next scene loads. And you just, uh, in that for, for anybody who doesn't know, you just need to, I think you just need to call, uh, don't destroy the object between scenes. And I'll just open up this script here since we're talking about it. And yeah, just call don't destroy on load and then just make sure that that argument is the name of the is the actual game object itself. Okay. So this Facebook persistent object, uh, the reason I've actually made a separate script for this as opposed to put it inside the, say the menu script, the menu scene script or the game scene script is that I want to be able to just take this script and then put it in the next game nice and easy. So I can just wrap up a package and then just bring that into the next game real simple. So it just keeps it all in one place and it's as generic as possible right now so that it can just be used in any game. But anyway, so the first thing is what you need to do is call facebook.init or initialize and pass in the app ID, which is why we needed that before. So that's that big number at the top of facebook.developers.com, which is this one right here. Okay, and that will actually connect your application or game to the, the Facebook uh, application that you've created through the developers portal. All right. The next thing is what you need to do is log the player in. Okay. And don't worry about all of this scripts that I've wrote down here, guys. This is this is just like so that I can call it from different parts of the game. I'm just trying to show you the basics of it right now. Okay. The first thing I do when I log when I want to log into Facebook is I call Facebook binding is logged in. If it's false, if we're not logged in, then Facebook login. Okay. And, and what that does is if the, if the player is not logged in, then inside of the game, they'll get like a little pop-up here that says, hey, uh, name and password, or in some cases, it'll go to the Safari page. And then in the Safari page, you can put your name and the, the password, just click OK, and the player will come back into the game. All right. So in this case as well, uh, we're saying if we're not logged in, then just post to the player's, uh, post to their wall. And we, what we do is we use Facebook.PostMessage with link. Okay, Facebook binding .post message with link. What that does is that posts the text message with a link. And in the case of our game here, Killer Shooting Sniper X, we're posting the iTunes App Store link uh, to Killer Shooting Sniper X. And we're also posting a little message that says, hey, I'm playing this game, check it out. So I, I try not to be too sort of, you know, businessy or corporate or anything like, you know, free for the next three days, blah, blah, blah. It, I'm trying to make it look like the player is posting. Uh, and in this case, I've also posted the uh, the score as well to say, hey, this is my score, okay? So this first part is just the message here. The second argument is the link to show. Uh, in this case, the link that we're showing is just a string which contains the HTTP, blah, 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 iTunes Connect, uh, iTunes game link to Killer Shooting Sniper X. And then the name to post, the actual, uh, the, the name to post inside of, uh, the name to put inside the post. And this is just Killer Shooting Sniper X, okay? So sorry, I've not actually written the, the literal strings in here. I'm just using these variables so that I can type them in the editor real easy. So that's how you post the message to the Facebook Facebook wall. The uh, Now that's if the player is logged in. If the player isn't logged in, what we want to do is we want to check when it is logged in. So what happens is the social networking manager will fire an event which says, hey, we've logged in. Now, how do we receive those events inside of this script here? What I do is I create a function called onEnable, which is a, a model behavior which is part of Unity already. 
and the social networking manager dot Facebook login event is the one that we want to register for but the one that we want to uh, something to happen when we when that event is fired so I've added this Facebook login successful uh, that's the name of the function and it is down here so Facebook login successful so once the player does log in that event is fired it then calls this function inside of our script this is not from prime 31 this is from our our own uh, this is the script that I've made it calls this and then it calls player logged in uh, player is logged in post their wall which is this one here and then it does that post that we just talked about where we can write it to the message to our friends and we can give them the score and we can give them the link and so on the other one that I register here okay um, is the Facebook post uh, successful so what that means is when the user actually posts their wall is you get another event that can be fired to tell you hey they posted to their wall and what we do in this case is we're actually showing the player hey congratulations you posted to your wall the second thing that we're doing is we're actually um, rewarding the user for a post so like I said here in this scene in the shop scene inside of killer shooting sniper X for this rocket you can pay for it with real money or you can do a post to your Facebook wall and that will unlock it for a temporary period of time. After this temporary period of time is finished, they just repost again and then you get it again for that temporary period of time. There's no limit in our case. But you guys can choose whatever you want to do with that, unlock anything or however you want to use it. Um, but hopefully that that might create some good, how do you say, viralness around killer shooting sniper X. So definitely like if, you know, a few weeks from now, it's now June 19th, 2010. A few weeks from now, if anybody's interested in the stats, I'm happy to sort of give a, do a video on that and, and give some information. So please drop a comment if you're interested. That Facebook post successful um, uh, function is here and I've written that myself. And then it basically just says, hey, you know, reward them with some rockets and here's the message to say hey you posted on your wall congratulations and this is anything that you guys want to add in yourself you want to give them some coins or you just want to you know say hey well done you you posted to your wall anything like that that's pretty simple and you guys can add whatever in you add whatever you like in there the other point is don't forget on on disable is if the application is closed down or if it goes into the background you need to you need to uh, unregister for these events and that's what we're doing here in on enable and on disable so feel free to copy this code out guys everything is is open here and you guys can can uh, you know uh, just take a look and then and use it however you need to use it so I think that is pretty much everything for this tutorial I just wanted to check so call Facebook uh, yeah we checked if the user is logged in or not we set up the event handlers. Uh, yeah, so that's when they're posting or when they've just logged in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I say, this is an intermediate tutorial. I didn't want to explain all of the code there. I just wanted to let everyone know how we put Facebook inside of our iPhone games at Cobalt Play. And definitely like check out Killer Shooting Sniper X on iPhone or iPad now. One, version 1.0 is already in the App Store. This version 1.1 should be with us in the next uh, next couple of days. Hopefully, it will take around five or six days to, to be approved, and then it will be live, which will have this functionality in. And, but as always, thanks, everyone, for, for all of your comments, for subscribing, for liking. That's extremely helpful. So please tap on that Like button down there. really, really helps. Please share it with your friends. If you click on the Share button, click on Facebook, and then Share to your wall. It's a Facebook tutorial. You know, that also really helps. But... You know, excellent to, to hear back from you all. I'm glad everyone's getting something out of these videos. Uh, any questions, drop a comment. I'm happy to help, and then I can do some of the videos if necessary as well. But for now, guys, happy developing, everyone, and I will speak to you all soon. Goodbye.